Hello folks, good evening. Got a little bit of uh, ice water here tonight. That is what I'm drinking is ice water. Uh, still carrying my bench made. Oh, there we go. Still love the hell out of this thing, man. It's razor freaking sharp too. Um, so this video is a little bit of a departure from what I normally do. I, um, whenever I get nervous, I start playing with things on my desk. <laughs> So I subscribed to a guy, his name's Big Vol Daddy, as in Vol Volunteers, Tennessee Volunteers. He's a Big Vols fan, and uh, I'm a big Alabama Crimson Tide fan, so we don't exactly see eye to eye. But we, uh, we do love uh, college football, and that's what matters. But uh, I've been a subscriber for a number of years for him, uh, and I just kind of watch his videos. I don't really interact because he's got an entire community of um, of of people that interact and get into the high school and college football talk with him. I, I just, I'm just sort of a casual observer, but he, um, he made a video the other day, or at least I saw it the other day. And, um, he was talking about some, just kind of the way things were in his life and said he was, you know, just sort of looking for a change and some motivation. Uh, he's having trouble staying motivated and things like that. He didn't really get into specifics and, you know, I don't blame him. Um, sometimes it's hard to talk about things. I mean, I'm even having trouble making this video and all I'm doing is a response to what he said. So, you know, for me to, um, I'm not going to criticize him or anything like that. But anyway, he said he was going to try to make some changes and, uh, you know, he gets stuck in a rut. And, uh, you know, he makes some changes, and then when he does, the bottom just seems to fall out, you know. kind of He's kind of in a spot where, you know, he, he doesn't really he, – he, I'm not going to say he doesn't know what to do next, but he is just uh, sort of polling the audience and seeing what they advice they have. And um, I don't – I'm really not an expert on any of – anything like motivation or ways to – be happier or more content or you know keys to success I, I really don't have a lot of advice on that type of stuff um, I didn't want to make the video though because he did he did kind of request responses and I thought well man this would be a great way uh, I don't know just a great a great thing to respond to maybe I could throw my two cents in and, and be helpful to somebody so I decided to make this video. I'm going to call it part one. I don't know that there'll be a part two, but I'm going to call it part one. So, you know, the one of the things you kind of got into at the end of the video is that um, I realize I've talked for three minutes and I haven't even gotten to the meat of, of what I wanted to say. I'll try to keep this brief, but he, he had said that he had gotten a piece of advice from a friend, and I believe it was someone that he respected, and that advice was to... Uh, if you're if you're really in need and you really are looking to dig deep and make some wholesale changes that what he needs to do and this is his friend talking is is to find a church and you know maybe maybe look down the path of uh, you know getting a little more religion in your life and and you know I don't disagree with that um, it's uh, you know, religion is is like a lot of things. You're only going to get out of it what you put in it. So you can't go, you know, my take, uh, again, I am no expert, let me qualify it, but, you know, if you decide you want to become active with a church and you're expecting things just to fall out into place for you because you go to Sunday school, I don't think that's going to happen. You've got to be able and willing to buy in to the church or you know I mean let's just let's not say church I mean I, I, I think a church is a great place to go but maybe if somebody you know if, if you don't let's say you buy into some type of organization you know I would say you know a church is a great place to start but if if that makes you uncomfortable uh, maybe some type of volunteer organization something that you could you, you know really kind of give yourself to and, and just kind of make some payments back you know what I'm saying um, but you know that's that's kind of a big that's kind of a big life decision you know when you start going and doing things like that you know that's that's a big that's a big thing so if you take a step back from that you know I, I heard a um, 
I heard the other day. I wish I could remember where I heard it, but they they uh, they said, you know, in, in your life, you're always going to find obstacles. Uh, there's always going to be bad times, and those bad times, you know, you kind of view them as as like a wall, and that wall gets put in your life, you know, and you and they say, well, you know, it's almost like a, a roadblock, you know, it, it stops doing what you're wanting to do, and and if and that's 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 the way you have to view it is it's a wall, and you've got a couple of things you can do here. You can you can charge forward hard as you can and bust through the wall or maybe you can you know give it all you've got and maybe you can just jump over the wall but I'm of course speaking metaphorically you know uh, and and maybe you can't do those two things maybe you don't have it in you to do you don't have the strength to bust through it and you you don't have the energy to jump over it well then maybe you've got to buckle down and work and you've got to find a way around the wall and when they said that, I mean, it, it sounds kind of hokey, but at the same time, it, it really made sense and resonated that, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you do, you've got to, you've got to find a way to get around that. I, I thought that that was kind of meaningful, but, you know, it's, I, I'm here in an armchair saying all this. I'm not doing anything. So the next thing, I, I mean, the next thing I would say is, is, you know, find somebody that you trust and listen to what they say and act on it. I mean, if, if maybe if this guy that you said, you know, you need to find, uh, you know, a little um, time for church or whatever it was he said, maybe, well, if you really trust and respect this guy, maybe you need to give that a shot. Maybe go to church with him and see how he does it. And that kind of follows on with my last piece of advice. And this is something that I've done that has worked for me. And that is to find somebody that is successful. And I'm not talking about, you know, financially successful. I'm talking about successful in whatever metric it is that you're that you're talking about. Is it somebody that's successful in a relationship? Is it somebody that's successful, um, you know, with um, you know, with finances? I'm, I'm trying to think of another type of success. Maybe even spiritual success. Find somebody that is successful in in what you're looking at and emulate what they do. Because I have known several successful people in my time, and I have sort of done my best to take the necessary steps that they took to I'm not gonna say it's almost I'm not gonna say copycat because that's that's just not that's not the way the world is. I mean if if somebody has said, you know, well I went to school and got a college degree and then I took this type of job and this type of job and then I realized I needed to transition to here, well you know that's that's what I might try to do. I might try to follow in their footsteps to um, sort of reach, you know, the same plateau that they're on, and I think that could could be in any avenue of life. So that that's uh, that's my response. I hope it helps. I I'd certainly uh, I certainly hope that that you're able to find some peace and find some you know find some motivation. And it is and it is tough. I know we all get into ruts and. And um, you specifically, Big Ball Daddy, spoke of a um, sort of a something that was going on in your life that you didn't want to explain to everybody, and I certainly understand that. And hopefully, you can get through that and and find your uh, sort of find your way. But I'm going to label this part one, and I, I don't know if there'll be a part two. I'm I'm anxious to. Uh, see Big Ball Daddy's response if there is one and, and maybe he'll comment on the video or something like that. So Big Ball Daddy if you're watching, uh, I'm uh, I'm pulling for you man and uh, roll tight.